Inside this building are some of the best micro apartments anywhere in New York. Ooh, but what's up with this door? Oh, check that out, man. Hatton right there. And you can see the workers on the neighbor's building. Boy, he's up there. I love how nice and sleek everything looks in here. And the crazy thing is these apartments cost the same amount of money as a studio in Manhattan. We are in Brooklyn right now. We took the G right over here to Classen, Clayson Avenue. And we are headed to an apartment that is just a couple of blocks away. Over here by the train, you got a couple candy stores. You got a restaurant which is closed. And then over here, you can get your nails done. You've also got these really cool looking old school buildings across from the train. Those look nice. I don't know if we're going to one of those. I never know where we're going until we get there. <laughs> but look at that. We got a park over here. That's a good thing. And look, there's people out here taking care of it a well-maintained park in New York that gets a thumbs up but what gets a thumbs down is this Ford Mustang look at that thing everyone knows if you want to go fast you don't get the convertible my favorite feature is all the vents that lead to nowhere but look at that one block away things get way more interesting you've got pizza you've got chicken what more do you need those are all the restaurants anyone needs and we got 99 cent great deals if your landlord doesn't fix your stove you can buy yourself your own hot plate right here and if you get locked out they copy keys. I feel like this is a self-sustaining neighborhood right here. It also looks like we got a full grocery store. That's always a plus. All right, you see all this spray paint and you see this restaurant down the street with the uh, Amazon string lights. That's going to be where the cool kids hang out. Okay, the name of this place is Taste Korea. Is it Korean barbecue? Actually, I think it's a coffee house. Clearly, I am not one of the cool kids, but if you are, you can visit that place. There's also like this massive warehouse over here. Maybe it's offices. Um, Oh, but check out this old Volvo. What a beauty. I would take this over that Mustang any day of the week. Even with the uh, problems with the paint. But why get a car when it's Brooklyn and it's almost a requirement that you have a shiny red bicycle? So you're saying these are all owned by one person? They're not owned. Stolen, salvaged. Really? Know. Are you selling them? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not me. It's some guy. At the corner here, we got ourselves another candy store. Definitely one of the more colorful candy stores you could shop at. Does this graffiti mean we're in some sort of space time continuum? I have no idea. I like how there's a book here that people wrote their own messages in. Either way, one thing that I am liking is just how nice and quiet this neighborhood is. No honking, no crazy traffic, no garbage. Up. Oh. Look at that, there's a free skateboard on the other side of this fence. Somebody is missing that, um, but who? That's a good question. All right, this is Myrtle Avenue. The apartment is over here somewhere. I think it's actually this building right here across the street. Looks like a small building, that's good. Then over here you can get yourself a tattoo of a mythical looking fairy holding a grub or something. If you have that tattoo, please don't get upset that I've misinterpreted what it might mean. If you're really upset, you can visit the post office, write me a letter. The local deli here's also got plenty of vitamin water. Okay, that was uh, $2 vitamin water. I bought it. I guess inflation hasn't come to this part of New York yet. Over here, we got something. It looks like a restaurant, I'm guessing. Across the street over here, that is a little coffee shop. I like this neighborhood. It is my first time here, but I like it other than the uh, noise from that school bus. So uh, thankfully I was wrong. We're not going to that building across the street. We're going to this brand new building here and we get to see it with Avner, who is an expert. Dude, I'm excited, man. It looks like no one's lived here. Is that correct? Yeah, it's brand new. It just developed. Wow. This is a brand new building. No one's lived here yet. If you want to live here, I'm going to make sure his info is in the video description. Ooh, huge. But what's up with this door? Oh, check that out, man. Hatton right there. And you can see the workers on the neighbor's building. Boy, he's up there. I don't know if you can put stuff on this because it's also the fire escape, but definitely this is a cool feature. And look at that view. I love how nice and sleek everything looks in here. On top of that, the bathroom's an absolute home run. Look at that. Windows are massive. Plus, look at that. We're looking out at a cool church. All right, so we're getting like essentially a sneak peek here, but look at how awesome this hallway is. Check that out. You see all the tiles and stuff over there. This whole thing is going to be landscape. This is going to be awesome. 
Oh, this is the roof? Yeah. Whoa, sweet. And look at that view of One World Trade. That's like perfect. Soon it'll be quieter because this building will eventually get finished. Um, but until that happens, you can hang out up here. So this place, um, I wish we could see this one. It's not done yet. This is a $4,000 duplex, but this is actually rented already for March 1st. Staircase is really cool. Kind of like winds around and it looks like up here we got another bathroom and a couple of rooms. Two bedroom. Obviously things are kind of dusty, but they're very nice. But this gives you a great idea of just how high the demand is for a nice place in this city. Now the cool thing is we're actually here to check out two apartments. This one here is going for 3000 and then directly across the hall, we've got this one which is going for 31. Now the uh, difference here, layout obviously, they're gonna put some French doors here so this will be like a convertible two apartment. So as we check out both of these places, keep in mind which one you like better, which one's worse, and if you have fun, make sure you subscribe. We do this six days a week. And this living room is pretty substantial. 12 feet, two inches by 19 feet, seven inches. And setting this up is gonna be so easy. That's where the kitchen is, so put a table over here. And then over here, you can have a nice big couch, you can have an entertainment center. And even though you might not supposed to be hanging out here, you could put down like a mat or something. And then put like a chair on top of it. Um, maybe you're not supposed to do that. What's also cool is there's two doors that lead out here. This one leads into the bedroom of the apartment right here and this is a pretty good bedroom eight feet eight inches by ten feet three inches it's got the New York City version of a walk-in closet can you believe a person can fit in here but the kitchen here might be my favorite part it's a little compact but we got a nice fridge with two freezers the stove looks nice and above it they're gonna put in a microwave I'm guessing otherwise there's a hole for no reason counter space is decent and the sink itself look at that nice little sink sprayer right there now the bathrooms in both of these places are a little different they've got the same overall finish but this one everything's kind of in a row. Tub looks nice. You could actually take a bath in it. And I like how there's plenty of space between everything. It's definitely not a small bathroom. And check out this cool light bulb. Um, be careful with that. You might lose your security deposit if you break it. You know, I think I prefer this one and I'll tell you why. No balcony, but it's gonna have the laundry and I feel like you could have a kitchen table here by the kitchen. Which is able to fit four to six, 10 feet, two inches. Oh, it went dead, nine feet. Appliances are identical, by the way. And then around the corner here, if you're not gonna use this as a bedroom, that's your living room. 20 feet, eight inches by nine feet, 11 inches. This is definitely more space than what you'd expect in a place at this price point. And I like this view. We're facing south right now. You can see just some of the rest of the neighborhood. Bedroom measures eight and a half by 11 and a half. And the closet looks like it's actually bigger. Yup, bigger bedroom closet. And I think I like the bathroom layout out better. Things are all in the same place, but you enter kind of in the center. No difference whatsoever in the finishes. Look at that light right there. I love that. That's so cool. You won't find that in Manhattan. I think I'm sold on this one. But if you want a great place in this building, I'll have Abner's info below. Then why don't you pick another video here or here, and I will see you in the next one.